1946, you and your husband, at that time not married, but your they partner, were they, ah, they were married. They were married on April mm -hmm. 10th. You have your ears in, your mm -hmm. ear. Yeah, so it's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You bought an old hill farm and call it Quarry Hill. And it was meant for like a retreat for artistic and free thinking people. And my question is, at that time, we are in 1946, what was the definition of free thinking people? If they, they just, they didn't think they were very stuck up or anything. They just thought they were very, very nice and they did, you know, wonderful things. They got a, parties together, get food for people and they, they made all, all kinds of wonderful things. All sorts. There's only two kinds. <laughs> women and women and women and men and what? No, they didn't have any of the anything more than that. No, nope, that was it. Well for the moment, yeah. Yeah. I they, they, I they, wasn't born. They didn't until. have they didn't have to get even smarter ones. I wasn't born. There weren't weren't any things so that like that. <laughs> You're mm -hmm. saying there were men were not sleeping with men. No, they were, but you just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about it. I wouldn't have allowed it. <laughs> I anyway, couldn't do that in there, my house. There no. Are people here who might be doing that. Only right women now. and men. Anyway, are here, and men and women. Barbara really likes men. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you? likes men. She doesn't want any women and men. I like women. She, she wants women and men. No, Barbara. no men and men. Okay. <laughs> And when when you first be started the community, did people get along pretty well, or was there some problems in the beginning? Was no, no, there... they got along like angels. They all loved each other tremendously. <laughs> Basically, here's what happened: Irving and Barb met in um, New York City in Greenwich Village in 1940. She was a cartoonist for Harvey Comics and drew the black cat and girl commandos like wartime comics. Why this issue of not hitting was so important? Because this Why? was the issue. We are here and we are, there's no violence towards hit. kids. Absolutely. My father would say adults must remember that children, that to children we look like insane giants apartments and, and whatever to people and, and my parents were doing that since they first got here. They had a barn studio in the old barn and they would rent it for instance and so on. Amazingly we didn't have any toilets here until 1990. <laughs> the same year my father died we finally got bathrooms. I think I had a toilet in my house with a septic system but I was the only one and um, we had computers first. You know, it's always sort of been a, just a, you know, your Barbara and Irving and their friends. So mm -hmm. it's sort of that, you know, sort of a friendship type of thing. You know, mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. come here, they heard about it, and they end up staying or whatever, or running away, screaming and yelling, <laughs> and, and uh, you know. Um, going nuts and stuff. So I came here with, you know, really nothing and, uh, um, you know, and, and a lot of people come here uh, in, in such respect, you know, so you had to go through, you know, maybe that process of, 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 of dealing with that or that, you know, someone was going to be living with you that you might not really... You don't have a choice in dealing with it. So, how do you how do you deal with it? You know, and, um, and that's that's a good thing. Um, you know, they used to be very much. Barbara and Irving were the, the story. You know, was that you know every everything for the newcomer. So there was a very much a, a very much a welcoming aspect to people who are new. And I think you see that with this party. The party is a way of, of really, you know, feeling that once again and, uh, um, you know, being with, with, with other people, though some people, you know, who may be newcomers would feel, feel alienated, 
you know, or alienated for a while because it is sort of an interconnected family of sorts. So where are you? What's your relationship to that? And for some, you know, it's a short way lay. And other people, then it, it, it became something deeper, longer, you know, and uh, another type of experience. So out of that, we are joined by my dog. <laughs> <laughs> and when I first came here, there were no dogs. It was like a cat community. So there was cats everywhere. And now there's dogs. There's still cats, but now there's dogs. And we have a bear that's marauding. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't call this a political place. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, I, I wouldn't say that the people here are, are political, even though I've been a political activist and different things. And, you know, and for Congress here in, in Vermont. But no, the, uh, the issue is, is that um, people just, you know, I think want to live in a, in, in, in a different way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the fact that people... Came and, and even if they came for money or something, they they were sort of they were rejecting that or they're getting away from you know parental scenes and things like that. So people didn't have money. They didn't have things. They shared things. I liked nakedness. I would actually go naked in the snow if they would let me. But that was one of the few things they tried to prevent me from doing. <laughs> I loved the way it felt in the rain. God, it was wonderful. <laughs> and will you come up to the party tonight? And yes, yes. Yeah? Great. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Everybody's got one, so we're kind of similar there. You know what I'm saying? I knew you were at the end of the line for a reason. Yeah, I'm yeah. just always here at the end. <laughs> Someone has to, and it's okay with me. It's an honor. Yeah, it makes a circle, and then I'm at the front somehow. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I fed the Bodhisattva a piece of a piece of my. It's not really mine. It's ours now. I, <laughs> I served three pieces on the way out to three random people because that's what community is about: feeding each other. Would you like a piece first? Yes, I would. There you I can't go. Talk about there you go. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? Thank here? you for being at Quarry Hill. If you had any advice for people in the future, anything that you would suggest to them? Just to move, just let go and be like it was in the beginning when everybody did whatever they felt like doing. <laughs>